Hi there, Robin here, and in this video we are going to be talking about this entire kit. It comes as a package from Pile. It's called the PLCDBT85 MRW, W for white. It's also available in a 95 MRB, which is the same kit in black. So if you're looking for a white package, we're going to talk about that today. But of course, you can get the 95 MRB, which is the exact same kit except of course, the speakers will be in black gloss and the head unit will be in black gloss. So let's talk about all the great things that actually come in the box. Now you do get two pairs, so that's four of the actual speakers. You're gonna get, of course, one head unit, which covers a lot of features on it. You've got the CD player, Bluetooth, MP3 player via USB or an SD slot, and you also get an aux in the front of it. It also has preamp outputs in the back, but we're gonna cover all of that in a little bit more detail. You also get the splash guard, which is really important because without a splash guard, if this is getting mounted anywhere where, you know, water can get to it, rain being splashing water or anything like that, you need to protect the actual unit. So you get a splash guard. Now note the way I'm actually holding it. I call it the coin tray. You want to go down, not up because up, it wasn't actually built to go this way. Two things happen. One, this gets in the way and you can't see the buttons. And two, it's not spring loaded to keep the door up. It's spring loaded to keep it in that comfortable position on the open side this way. Rubber gasket keeps everything from getting wet. Now, of course, if you're installing this inside of a glove box or if it's in the cabin of the boat and you're not gonna have water there or any concerns, you don't necessarily have to use this. The other things that are included, of course, are all the wires and harnesses. You are gonna get the speaker harness, which is for four speakers. It's all color-coded and they even take the time to label everything for you, which is really good. And the other cable is the power cable. Again, all color-coded for you. You get your ground, you get your accessory power, you get your remote. So if you decide to add an amplifier to it, you can do that too. And you also get your main positive current screws for the speakers they're all nickel plated so this way not to worry about them actually oxidizing or looking bad after a couple of years you're going to get four speaker wires for the four speakers all of that's included there's even a remote control to operate the unit and well of course you're going to need extra screws because this is a cd player so it's bigger and heavier than the average bluetooth head unit alone so before we actually plug the unit in let's take a look at some of the features on it. first of all because the cd full size it's actually a metal box, not plastic, and this is the mounting basket, so you can slide this off to mount the unit. It also has these two screws with a red piece of paper on it. This is to hold the CD player down in place. It's acts as a stabilizer. You can take these off without using a screwdriver because it's just basically holding the carriage and everything still and in place. They even add a secondary instruction wiring manual right on top. Most units have this, which is nice to see it, that it's actually there. When we look at the back side of it, here's where your mounting bracket, you're going to need a stabilizing bracket because it is heavy on the back side. So this is going to allow you to mount it from the back and make sure that it stays nice and straight. Two slots right here, which are one for your speaker wires and the other one is going to be for your actual power cables. Fuse lined up right beside that, so this way you don't have to find it on the wire or line anything. It's a standard automotive fuse, protects the unit. And then off to the side, we have our RCA outputs and our antenna input. Just take note that it doesn't come with an antenna in the kit, so you're either going to need to get a flexible one if you have a fiberglass or wood boat, and you're going to need to get a whip on the outside if you have a metal boat. For the speakers themselves, you are looking at, of course, marine grade speakers, so it's all plastic body, UV coated, protect against the sun and it uses a polypropylene driver which keeps the water out from getting inside of it and you do have a diffusion cone in the center which helps clear up the highs so this way you get a nice full range speaker that's going to sound good in the mid bass the high range so let's plug the actual radio in some power and uh, see how the features look on the front of it so and here's a closer look at the actual unit so we did power it up and we are going to be able to go through the features so of course right on top we do have our power on and off button right here it does say goodbye when you do that it even has a clock built into it when you turn it on it starts off of course with the welcome and then right off to the side we have our mode button our mode button basically allows us to go from our radio to auxiliary which is located in the front our bluetooth function for our wireless connectivity and back to the radio. You notice it skipped over CD because we didn't have a CD in it. And it also skipped over the MP3 player because we didn't have a USB or SD card in it, which is kind of neat because, you know, if you don't have it in there, why is it stop on those modes? Some of the other buttons that are always nice to know is that these buttons also work for picking up a phone call and hanging up a phone call because there's a microphone located right at the bottom. It also has a button for automatic mute search because if you bring your boat or whatever you're going to put it in from place to place, your reception may be different. You've got automatic mute search. It scans through the radio, finds all the best stations. No worries. You can change your display mode between clock and whatever function it's on. You even get skip and previous modes for your radio or for your CD, MP3, Bluetooth, 
whatever you have plugged into it. You also get all the buttons at the bottom, which go from the pause, or you get your repeat, your random modes. Uh, you can choose your direct to next functions, previous, and it also acts as your presets for your radio. When you want to get into the function of the unit, you just press on the actual volume knob, then you get your bass plus minus. I do like the knob, by the way. Uh, it's very good. If I want to go to three, I just go to three and let it go and it's going to stay there. It's not going to wander. And then again, you get your balance mode, your fade front to back, your loudness option on and off, equalize options, which is cool because now it's all preset. You get your pop, your rock, classical, flat, you name it. If you don't like the beep that it makes, well, you can turn that off and on. It's this way. It's your choice. And then you get your stereo or mono mode depending on the quality reception. You also get your local and distance for the radio as well. And that's it, it comes right back to the default. The eject for the CD button again, power buttons were located on top. It's a nice, clean, simple system to use. If you're looking for something with a CD player, this is a real nice package. Now remember, like I said earlier, it does come in black and that's the PLCD BT. 95 MRB, so 95 instead of 85, and of course, B for black instead of W for white. Outside of that, it's the same package, it's the same kit, the speakers are in black, the head unit's in black, and the cover plate's in black. Those are all the things that are gonna change when you look at that. Again, simple, easy to install for a lot of times. If you already have cutouts for six and a half, it's just a re and re, remove the old ones, put in the new ones. Same thing with the head unit. The plugs are different, but the color codes on the wires are always the same. So that's always a big advantage. Doesn't matter what brand or manufacturer, if it was built in the last 40 years, you'll find all the colors lining up. So there you go. That pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope this video is helpful in your buying decision today. Maybe we'll see you in the next video. I'd like to say thanks for watching and bye for now.